In this video, I want to show you the automation differences between and Reaper. So a project set up here in Reaper and also in Let's hear it first in We have a vocal track and a bunch of instruments to go with it. Let's hear it. And let's hear it in Reaper. Again, with a vocal track and a bunch of tracks to go with it. Let's go back to Let's see how automation is handled in here. Again, we have the vocal. Let's go over here, hit this button, choose volume. So you can see the volume envelope down over here. Then I'll hit this button so we can see our fader. This is going to control the volume for our vocal. Again, let's hear it. Oh, now, if you notice, this envelope is moving when we move our fader. So if I bring it down, it gets lower, bring it up, it gets higher. And that's because this envelope is tied to or completely related to the fader. They don't operate independently. What happens here shows up over here and vice versa. So if we wanted to write some automation, we would switch the mode to write mode and start writing some automation like this. Oh, And the automation is written right here. And if we switch it back to read mode, which is the default for we're going to see it play back on the fader and we're going to hear the result. Now we can grab the fader to disable what we're hearing. But we're not actually writing or rewriting the automation. We're just hearing it in playback. If we wanted to adjust it, we could choose either touch, latch, or rewrite completely. If we choose touch, it's only going to change or rewrite if we grab the fader, like this. And then it rewrites the automation only for touching the fader. Otherwise, it just plays back this envelope. Now let's compare that to Reaper. Here's our vocal. Let's hit the track and type V. And we get the volume envelope down here. We'll open the mixer. Now we have a fader we could adjust. And again, we could just grab it and move it. Oh, But notice, as we move this fader, it doesn't affect the envelope. Because in Reaper, the envelope and the fader are separate. They work together, but they still behave as separate things. In other words, what's happening here could be different than what's happening here. And they could work together where both things are happening at the same time. Let's check it out. Put the fader back to zero. Let's switch the mode right here to write mode. And notice, by default, we were in trim read mode, but we'll get back to that later. Let's switch it to write mode. And now we could write this fader and it's gonna write the result on our envelope like this. Oh, and again, like with we could switch it back to read now we're going to see the result. Everything that happened on the envelope is now going to play on the fader. Oh, but as I mentioned before, by default, Reaper uses the trim read mode. So now this fader 
goes back to zero, and it's not related to this envelope. We're still going to hear the result of the envelope. Oh, shut up. But notice the fader isn't moving. Because this fader is just trimming the envelope, or what we're hearing right now. So if I make it lower, we're still hearing the envelope, we're just hearing less of it. But we're trimming it over here. And this trim isn't being automated. So we can move it at any point to readjust our vocal level. So at any point, we want to make it louder. We can go to the routing and just type in the difference. We want to go plus one. Now our fader is one dB louder and the envelope, which is still sitting at the same spot, but we're going to hear one dB more. Oh, shut up. Or we could bring it down two dB. Now this envelope is being trimmed two dB. Oh, shut up. There's really not a similar mode in You can still adjust your envelope independently, but it's always going to be affected in the fader. While in this mode, again by default, Reaper uses trim read. So it's not going to show the envelope movement on the fader, and it's just going to trim the envelope. Now if we want to trim the envelope and see the result over here, we could do it with this knob over here. We can go up or down. Oh, now the envelope is being trimmed separately from the fader. If we put it back to zero, when we adjust this, we're just hearing that result, and our fader isn't being changed, just the envelope. But if we want to rewrite the automation, we could switch it to either write again, latch, or touch mode. And in touch mode, it's only gonna rewrite our automation when we touch the fader. Otherwise, it just plays back the envelope. But if we grab it, it rewrites it, until we let go. So it's like punching in and punching out automation. And again, we could switch this to read mode to see back the result of the envelope. But the default is trim read. So we're always hearing this envelope, which you could also draw in, control on the PC, command on the Mac, like this. And we'll hear that back on the track, but not see the result on our fader. Oh, but we could trim it here to hear less of the envelope or more of the envelope. Oh, But this trimming we're doing is not being automated. But if we do want to automate the trimming, we could do that with a separate envelope. Let's go right here and choose the trim volume envelope. And it shows up right here. And now we can move this envelope to this envelope and then write new automation to this one, which will basically be trimming this one. And we could do that with an action. Apply the volume envelope to the trim envelope and clear the volume envelope. And now it deleted the volume envelope, which we can get back by typing V again to see it, but it moved the automation to the trim envelope. So now we can write automation to this envelope. Let's switch this to write mode. And now we're writing on this envelope, but we're still hearing and trimming this envelope. We could trim it from here. And now we're hearing both at the same time. And we could still trim both of them with the fader. 
by going back to trim read, and we have this fader to trim both. And we can also merge these two envelopes into one. Apply trim envelope to volume envelope, and then clear the trim envelope. And now we just have one envelope, combining both of them together. Before, it looked like this, and after, it looked like this. Putting both envelopes together, and now we can retrim as many times as we want and constantly apply it to the volume envelope while still having the trim fader to adjust. And also the envelope to adjust right here. So that's pretty much it. That's the automation differences between and Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.